Okay, so we're still working on calculating the electric field. Uh, so if you remember, we have Coulomb's law. It says that the force between two charges is K, a constant, Q1, Q2, over the magnitude of R squared, R hat. So R is a vector distance from one charge to the other, and R hat is a unit vector. So then if I have the electric field, it's just that force divided by one of the charges that you want to find where the electric field is. So that would be just K Q1 R hat over the magnitude of R squared. And this is the, the electric field due to a point charge. So I have here a point charge uh, at the origin. And I'm actually going to find the electric field three different times. So the first I want to find it right here at this point, uh, 0.05 meters on the x-axis. And then I want to find it up here. Uh, at 0 0.07 on the x-axis and 0 0.05 in the y. And then I'm going to do one where it's not at the origin. Okay, so let's start with this one first. Uh, I'm going to do this the formal way, although you may want to just, uh, you could just do this finding the scalar value, but I don't want to do that. So here's the step that we're going to do. Oh, and I, this is 3 nanocoulombs, and k is 9 times 10 to the ninth. Okay, so step 1 is to find r. So here, r1 it's going to be equal to the vector 0 0.05, 0, 0 meters. Next, I need to find the magnitude of this vector. This is pretty easy, right? R1 uh, magnitude. Actually, I need to find the magnitude squared. I don't even need to do that. So this is going to be this squared plus this squared plus this squared. So it's going to be 0 0.05. I'm writing it out, but I'm not going to put the numbers in. Squared plus 0 plus 0 squared squared. Now I need to find r hat. So r hat is a unit vector in the direction of r, and that's going to be equal to this vector, 0 0.0500 0, 0 meters, divided by the magnitude of the vector, which is going to be the square root of this, which is 0 0.05 in this case. So this meters, the meters cancel, so this is going to be 100. 0, 0. So this is a vector in the x direction. That's pretty easy. Now I can put it in the formula, and I can say, E, let's call this 1, 2. E1 is going to be K times Q, I'll put, I'll put in the number later, times R hat, I'll put that in, 1, 0, 0, divided by the magnitude of R squared, which is going to be 0 0.05 squared, meter squared. And that's it. Okay, so I'm going to get a vector answer because scalar, 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 vector. And so I'm going to put this in Python, and I'll do that in the next step. I'll show you how to calculate this. Okay, now let's do this point up here. So the only difference for this is I have a different R value. So I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to calculate R. I'm going to write down R. R2 is 0 0.07, 0 0.050 0 meters. So now I need to find the magnitude of, I do need to find the magnitude because I need that in the unit vector. It's going to be equal to the square root of 0 0.07 squared plus 0 0.05 squared plus 0 squared. And I don't know what that number is. I'll, show, I'll find it out in a little bit. Now I need to find R2, the unit vector. That's just going to be this, 0 0.07, 0 0.05, 0 meters divided by this, uh, I'll just put it as the magnitude of R2 and it's in meters. So I get some, some value. I get some vector value. I don't even know what that is. Now I can find E2. It's going to be K times Q times this R2 hat over the magnitude of R2 squared. And it's going to be a vector. Okay. And I know it's like, whoa, but you really didn't do anything because you, you put it all, you just wrote out the same thing. And that's true. Okay, but I just want to point out that this is just a calculation. It's nothing really crazy. Okay, let's do one more case. The same charge. But now I'm going to put the charge right here. So Q2. And let's put this at an x-coordinate of 0 0.05. Uh, 0 0.07 that's on the x and there's a y coordinate too and I want to find the electric field let's say over here 
and this value is going to be um, negative 0 0.03 0 0.04 meters and I maybe I should move it down a little bit okay so now I have a problem because I need to find this vector let's call this 3 so let's call this R3 I need to find that vector well here is I have this vector and I have this vector so I can say RQ is this vector it's going to be equal to 0 0.05 0 0.070 0 meters and R let's call this RO for observation point RO is going to be equal to negative 0 0.03 0 0.04 0 meters so if I look at this as starting and ending positions as though it were a velocity problem then I could say R3 is going to be the final position RO minus initial position RQ so now I can do this vector operation because I have everything in components so this is going to be equal to this component minus that so it's going to be minus 0.03 minus 0.05 so it's going to be minus 0.08 this minus that, so 0 0.04 minus 0 0.07 is going to be minus 0 0.03, and then 0 meters. Now I can do the problem just like before. Find R3 magnitude. This is going to be equal to the square root of negative 0 0.08 squared plus negative 0 0.03 squared plus 0 squared. And then I can find R hat. It's just going to be uh, negative. 0 0.08, negative 0 0.03, 0 meters divided by the magnitude of R3. And then finally I can find E3. Not, the, not, the, not that E3. It's going to be K, Q, R3 hat over the magnitude of R3 squared. And I'm going to put this in Python. And I'll do that right now to show you how vector operations work in Python. Okay, so uh, we are going to calculate the electric fields. So I start up Python here, and I'm going to go ahead and enter my values of things that I need. K is 9 tenths in the ninth. Um, yeah, this is scientific notation. I don't know if you knew that. Okay, uh, the charge Q is 3 times to the negative ninth. Um, what else? So now I need to first find electric field 1. So let's go R1 is vector. Uh, I said it was 0 0.0500. 0. So the first thing I can do is calculate the magnitude of that vector. And so this is built into Python, right? So I can say R ma R1 mag, I'll call it just for fun. I don't have to do this. Uh, it's going to be magnitude of R1. I'm going to print that out. Just so you can see that it actually works. So let's print that. And that doesn't give the units, but that's exactly what we expected. And then I'm going to save this too. Electric field calc 1. And I'll give you the link below. Okay, so now I need to find uh, the unit vector for R1. So it's going to be, uh, you could do this two ways, and it's going to give the same thing. Uh, so you could say R1 hat is equal to R1 divided by R1 mag. Uh, and Or you could do this and that would be fine or it's a built-in function already norm r1 is the unit vector so that's all i need and let's print that out because we already said we knew what that was so print r1 hat just to check we like to check there that's exactly what i said before okay so let's get rid of this i don't really need to print that i don't need to print that and then i'm going to say e1 equals k times Q, 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 times R1 hat, divided by R1 mag squared. Print, let's, let's do it the right way, E1 equals E1, and the units would be newtons per coulomb. And run that. There you go. Okay, now let's do 2. So R2 was the vector, uh, I have it right here. 0 0.07, 0 0.050. Uh, so I, actually, I'm going to do this in one step. Watch this. E2 equals k, time, oops, k 
times q. And this is what's so great about Python, right? We have these built-in vector operations that makes everything easier. OK, now I need to multiply by the unit vector r2. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it all at one time. So I'm just going to say norm r2. Now I need to divide by the magnitude of r2 squared. So divide by mag r2 squared. Print. Oops. e2 equals e2 newtons per coulomb. Uh, and just for fun, let's print out this. Print uh, e2 mag. Let's write it like this. How about like this? e2 looks better. The magnitude of e2 is just going to be, again, mag. I don't need to calculate it beforehand. I can just use it right there. It's also going to be a newtons per coulomb. OK, finally, let's do, I guess I should run that. There. OK, now let's do uh, E3. And so in this case, I need to write down, uh, I'm writing down before I forget. So I have RQ is the vector uh, 0 0.05, 0 0.07, 0. Our observation is the vector, you have to put vector there. I had negative 0.03 and 0 0.040. So now I'm going to find R3. R3 is just going to be RO minus RQ. I don't even need to print that out. You, you can if you want to, but I'm not going to. And now I can say E3 is going to be K times Q times norm R3 divided by mag R3 squared and print it. And here we go. OK, so let's just think for a second. Remember, we had that R3 is pointing uh, down and to the left on the x-axis. So the electric field should be away from that positive charge. And that does indeed look like it's away and down. OK, so that's it. So you see how nice it is to do these uh, vector operations in Python to calculate electric fields. A lot of times people just calculate the magnitude and just say, just draw the direction. I don't think that's a good idea. I think this way is a lot better. OK, we'll do some more electric field calculations in the next video, and I'll see you there.